Hey guys, welcome back to the August Diaries. So today we are doing a vacation look. It's perfect for the pool or the beach or whatever. I mean, as long as you have water and sun and a margarita in your hand, then you're good to go. Anyways, to start off, this is not a real tan. Um, I don't tan my face anymore. I really wish as a teenager that I hadn't done that. Um, I'm sure my mom is shaking her head at me now. Um, but seriously, you guys, if you're in your teens, early 20s, don't tan your face. Put a ton of sunscreen on, wear a hat, and just use a really good self-tanner. I promise that you'll thank me later. I have been using self-tanner for the last few days. Um, I was using Vita Liberata at the beginning of the week, but I'm wondering if it made me break out a little bit. Um, so I switched to Saint Tropez, um, which I really, really like. Um, it's actually one of my old favorites. It actually comes out a little bit green uh, when you put it on your, on your skin, which is super weird, I know, but it really makes sure that you don't have any kind of orange in your tan. It's a very bronze color, which I really love. Um, don't worry, your face and body are not green at all, I promise. So first things first, I use a moisturizer. I just use my Cetaphil, my favorite. It's just from a drugstore. It's really cheap, really good. And I will mix that with kind of a skin tint. Um, this one is a really great one from Lush. It's called Charisma. And it's kind of like a bronzy color. It looks like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and you just take a little bit of that and mix it in with your moisturizer and it gives it gives you like a bit of a glow um, I really like doing that especially at the beginning of a vacation um, The other one that I really like is from Desiem. It's called um, Photography fluid tan looks like that I'm Not sure if you can see oh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna get it everywhere Anyways, it's a bit more of a golden color um, so I like this one as well. Next, SPF. Always, always SPF. This one is D. Morelli. It's an SPF 45. And um, something that I was more recently taught is that you want to make sure that there's UVA and UVB protection. Um, not all sunscreens have both. I can't remember offhand which one is more common. I think UVB only is more common. You definitely want to make sure you have a UVA, UVB protection, but I slather this all over my face and neck. So once you've got your moisturizer and your sunscreen down, I will show you how to get this makeup look. So to start off, I'm going to use my Jane Erdell pressed powder foundation. So I'm just going to put it where I need it again, as always, which is forehead, chin and my nose a little bit so i actually have two colors that i use um, in the jane erdell i have like a summer and a, and a winter color this um, is the compact refill and this is in the color riviera and then normally during the winter i use this one is almost done um, this is golden glow so as i'm transitioning i'll kind of um, mix the colors together and create the perfect shade. So because I have self-tanner on my face, because we don't want to tan the face, ladies, I already made that mistake. Should have listened to my mother. Mom, I'm sorry. Um, anyway, so I am using mostly Riviera today. And I love this foundation for everyday use. You guys know that I use it all the time. But I really love it for vacation because... Um, it has SPF 20 in it. It's been approved by the Skin Cancer Foundation. It's also water resistant. Um, it says for up to 40 minutes. Um, and it's also a powder foundation. So when you're sweating or you get greasy, it helps just to kind of keep that under control. Anyways, so that's your quick base done. Um, and then if you have any blemishes, I normally do, even though I'm at the end of my 20s. What the fuck happened with that? Uh, I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of concealer. This is my MAC 195 brush, and this is my Clay de Peau concealer in beige. 
So just do the teeniest bit of spot concealing just where you need it. So that your face looks nice and even. So I'm actually filming this the week before we leave for Palm Springs and it's literally all I can think about. I'm so excited to just be in the sun, take a little bit of a break from work, um, and both Andrew and I have been a little bit sick, although Andrew was really sick with the flu. Um, poor guy. Anyways, we both need a vacation, if we're being honest. And this concealer actually looks ever so slightly light, so I'm just going to go in with my darker um, powder foundation and just go over it just slightly to set it and make sure that it all blends in nicely. Okay, um, if you want, you can use a little bit of bronzer. Um, I guess I might as well for the sake of this tutorial, obviously, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, just do on your cheekbones, forehead, down the nose. I mean, you don't really need to, like, I guess at the beginning of your vacation you need to. Let's face it, you don't need to do any of this. <laughs> um, at the beginning of va the vacation, it makes more sense too, I think. And then once you've built up your self tan to match your body, then you can use more. Because remember, we're wearing a hat and we're wearing lots of sunscreen on our face. My mom is going to be so happy to see this video. Okay, um, I... I'm just going to do some brow gel through my brows. This is Charlotte Tilbury. If you don't want to do your brows, then please don't. But I'll just kind of show you your different options. So these will stay in place and it'll give you a little bit of color as long as you're not like wiping your brows off. Um, I'm just going to do a touch of concealer under my eyes, just the slightest amount. You don't want it to look like you're wearing a ton of makeup anyway, so. I'm not sure if my tan is showing up on camera. I swear I have a really nice face tan. From Saint Tropez. Haha. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I just laughed at my own joke. So I normally don't wear mascara on vacation. If I have time, I will get my eyelashes dyed because then it gives your eyelashes a bit of color, obviously, and you don't have to worry about like runny mascara, all that kind of stuff. But if you really, really want to, let's just give them a quick curl. I would use the tubular mascara um, this is the one that I actually use on my bottom lashes it's called blink um, and I'm just gonna use this just as another option for you guys on the top and bottom it definitely won't run down your face it, it like basically coats your lashes in little tubes I've actually never used it on the top lashes it's quite pretty Anyways, uh, it like coats your lashes in little tubes and then when it comes off, the tube basically just like slides off and you can just like push it away. So then you don't have like raccoon eyes basically. Um, okay, what else? Not much really. Um, this is my piece de resistance. I recently picked this up after trolling the counters at Nordstrom with one of my girlfriends. Um, this is the Tom Ford cream cheek color. So pretty. <laughs> In O2 Piano Sole. Piano Sole. Anyway, so this is a cream cheek color and I'm gonna actually use it on my cheeks, on my eyes, and on my cupid's bow. 
It's such a gorgeous color and because it's cream, it won't go anywhere in the water. And it'll give you a little bit of sheen without looking sparkly. I had mentioned in uh, one of my other videos that especially during the day if you're in direct sunlight, if you're wearing a highlighter, especially if it's powder, it can look really, really um, like fake and like you can basically see the powder lying on top of your skin and if it's even remotely glittery, you'll be able to see that. So this is awesome. Um, and I'm gonna do a little bit down the center of my nose on my eyelids. Oh God, it's such a gorgeous color. This is literally all you need to take on vacation. And just on the top of my Cupid's bow. It's kind of like a highlighter cheek color. Look at the packaging. It's so gorgeous. I think I'm just going to keep the packaging once I use up the product. That's basically it. Uh, you can use the cheek color just on your lips if you want. Um, I usually use um, just a lip chap with sunscreen in it. Your lips can burn. I've actually burned my lips before and it really hurts, especially if you're wearing like something like Kiehl's, um, you know, that cult Kiehl's lip balm, which is amazing. But because it makes your lips so shiny, the sun will just go right to them and it can really burn the shit out of them and it hurts, believe me. So you can stop here if you want. Uh, but to finish it off, I'm just going to use this lip color from Bite Beauty. I made it at the Bite Beauty Lab, which is such a cool experience. I highly recommend going if you can. Um, there's one in Toronto and one in New York as well. It's kind of a mix between Honeycomb, which is a color from their Mousse Bouche line, and Blondie, which is a multi-stick, um, which is one of my favorite multi-stick colors that they have. I use it all over my face actually, but I really like it on my lips a lot. I'm actually not gonna use it from the bullet. I'm just gonna pat it into my lips with my finger. This is a wedding splurge. I feel like I'm gonna end up buying the entire Tom Ford line and be like, it was a wedding splurge. I definitely do not think that you need to spend a lot of money to get really good makeup. Not all pricey makeup is good, but um, with my limited experience with the Tom Ford line, it's really, really nice. It's really, really nice. That is it. It's really simple. If you go in the water, no worries. Won't go everywhere. And you still look pretty and bronzed and you can kind of just like touch up a little bit like if you bring your powder compact and <laughs> the Tom Ford cheek color and just kind of brush the powder over your t-zone touch up your cheeks um, put a little bit on your lips and eyes and you can just go straight to dinner dinner or drinks oh margaritas on the beach so nice so be sure to subscribe below uh i mean if if you like the channel um but i have been filming a ton of new videos and i have um a pair of videos coming out that's two day to night looks that i'm really excited about um so i'm really hoping that you guys are liking these videos as much as i love making them uh, I'm really pumping them out so I might up my videos from every Wednesday to twice a week, maybe. What do we think? So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.